Hi, this is an introduction to LEGO Robotics. Uh, these guys, my helpers, uh, Wyatt and Emmett, they're seven years old and they're going to be learning how to um, do robotics using LEGO Mindstorm Robotics, the EV3s. These are uh, brand new kits and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you from opening the box uh, all the way to uh, doing the Carnegie Mellon uh, robotic engineering, um, using the software, uh, doing practice mats, and even doing uh, the LEGO First League Robotics uh, missions this year, um, building robots, uh, having these guys learn how to do robotics. And if you have kids at home, uh, you can do these same things. So the first thing is we have uh, the LEGO Mindstorm uh, EV3 educational kit. This is the core set and you'll see that when I open it you have a, a piece of cardboard and all the pieces are in little plastic bags. You get a charger, you get the batteries and the first thing these guys are going to have to do is they're going to have to open these bags and they're going to have to use this. You got to use this set to look at the pieces that you have in the bags, like these little red pieces, and figure out where you're going to put them in this in this box. Um, we also have the expansion pack, and what that does is the core set has the robot, it has the battery chargers, it has the uh, rechargeable battery, um, it has sensors, and the expansion pack has all different kinds of tires um, and extra pieces, lots and lots of extra pieces to, to make all different things uh, like an elephant or these, uh, these different robots that they show on the pack, uh, dinosaurs. Um, the software is, is, uh, is downloadable, it's free. Uh, from Lego Mindstorm and uh, we'll show you in different uh, in different videos how to use this how to use this uh, software to program your robot and uh, we'll also show you this is free on the internet uh, the Carnegie Mellon Robotics Engineering uh, Volume 1 uh, Volume 2 and the Lego Robotics Video Trainer are all on the internet you can you can go on the internet and then go through those programs um, there's books on how to how to put things together. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get started putting our robot together. So you're welcome to come back uh, in the video, and then we'll show you when everything has been put together. And these guys can start programming it. All right. So now these guys went ahead and they organized all their pieces from the bags into the proper places. Uh, there's another piece of cardboard on the bottom here that shows you what should be in here. So we opened up all these pieces. Um, we are charging our Lego robot. Uh, we put the rechargeable battery in there which comes with the set. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through this manual and put together our robot as is shown in the manual that comes with the, with the core set. So we're going to go ahead and these guys are going to go ahead and do that right now. So here's the uh, book. Uh, we'll move them over and then they'll start putting stuff together for their robot so they can have the robot put together. You guys ready for that? You ready? Hello, okay, go ahead over there and then uh, open up to the front page. What's on the front? Turn it. Turn it until we get to the steps. So here's step one. You're going to have to find one of these pieces. So you want to. You want to look and see where it is according to your thing, and then you're going to get you're going to get eight of these pieces. Okay, good. Now find these blue pieces. The bigger one. The big ones. Yeah, right there. Okay, the big. Big there. Big. Oh, I'm just going to put it right over here. How many? 
This one. Four. You collect four and I'll collect four. Yep. We have we have the robot uh, built, um, so we put it all together with the instructions in the manual, and now we're on page 39, and 39 tells us to uh, to do some programming it to do a little uh, whirly bird. Yeah. So so let's look at the directions here. Here, the first thing we're going to do is hit the middle button. You push it hard. There you go. So you can see that the light turns on and it says starting. This was charged by the way. You want to make sure your, your brick is charged all the way. And then as soon as it as soon as it makes a little noise and tells us that it's ready, then we could we could push these other buttons here. Hey Dad? Dad? Yeah. What is this for? This is for something later. So we built this and then we'll use it. We'll use We'll use it later. Oh, okay, so now it has the green light on, so it says it's ready. So what you want to do is you want to push this button once, this one. And then you want to push the center button. And then you want to push the down button. And then... Middle button? And then the center button will make it go. The center. Don't lean on the table here. All right, go ahead. Alright, and that was the first program on page 39. Can I do the next one? Yeah, you can do it right now. You can just push the square. Go ahead and push the square. No, I want to no, can I do like the next trick? The next trick. Yeah, there'll be one in a second. Alright, so on page 40, uh, we have a series of different programs that it can do. So go ahead. You can take this. And I don't do that. Okay. Okay, so what does it say to do? So we're going to go over to and then down to uh, the brick program. This is for page 40. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and then we're going to go over and we're going to pick these uh, two wheels so then we hit the square to, to select it and then we hit the uh, square again and this allows us to change it to whatever uh, shape we want so we went down three and that's a, a loop to the left and then we go over and up one and this allows us to uh, go up into our selections of sensors again we do that five times and then over one to get the uh, timer and we click on that and um, then we are done so we can go over and push play to run the program okay on page 40 uh, we follow the directions it tells us to select all these in, the, in our manual, so we go through all the, the buttons on the top. And when we push the, the go button in the middle, go ahead. it makes a circle. So it shows us, it shows us all the ways to nav navigate through the um, programming to get the gears to move so that you can make a circle. Yeah. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to build and put our infrared onto our robot. So we're going to build some more and then after that uh, when we're done building some more then we'll be able to do another program. Okay? Alright so this is the this is the um, our infrared sensors on page 47 the program so we're going to go over three and then down to brick program and then uh, we're going to go up to the server motors and that's okay so then we go over and then up one and we look for the 
the infrared sensor we select it we select it we go down to 30 uh, we go over one we go up and then over one more to select this and then we go down to stop and then we go over to our we can see our program is here we go through our program and we go over to run and then we just run it and it goes okay so we've we've attached the infrared sensors to it and uh, we followed the program on page 47 and we set it to less than 30 centimeters so on this chart we can measure it we can set, set up the robot and then you can come over here and push the square see how it goes nope you can walk over and push it and we can see the distance this is set at 80 and this stopped at 56 so that's 24 centimeters so that's less than 30 centimeters we can see that if we move this back here and I can move I can move this to 60 instead of it was at 80 go ahead you can push the square so this is this is uh, it's all the block at uh, this is 60 and that's 48 so at 12 centimeters it's all the block so it's still less than 30. so you can see at different timings uh, it'll stop at different distances but we want something that's less than 30 centimeters we could set it for 60 centimeters all right go ahead and do that you can see that happen all right so i'm going to push the square button and then it enters at 30. If I go up, that goes to 60. If I go down twice, that goes to 5. So let's go up to 60 once. And then I'll go back to play. And then Emmett, why don't you come over here? You can sit over there, Mark. I'll put this back at 80. Keep, try to keep your hands off because I'll see your hands. All right, go ahead. So you can see this was 60 centers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's about eight, so it's about 58, so it's less than 60 centimeters. Can I do it one more time? Yeah, this time we're going to set it to five centimeters, so it's going to get really close. Oh, okay. Let's we'll see if it actually does. Yeah, let's see if it does. If it misses the timing. All right, so here I got to put this here. Wait, hold on a second. Then I got to move this. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, go ahead, push the button. Yeah. Oh, so, it, oh, it hit it. Yeah, it hit it. So let's let's move this. We'll do that one more time. And I'm going to move this a little bit. And move this to here. That's at 50. Go ahead, push button. So it didn't hit at that time, but you can see there's a distance of only two centimeters. So that so that five centimeters is pretty close, right? Less than five centimeters. So that's only two. Before it got right up to it and actually touched it. This time it didn't touch it. Okay. So that was the infrared on page 47. Now we're going to have to build our, our um, gyroscope and put that on there, okay? So we'll do that next. Or something. All right, so the program on 53 is for our, our gyroscope. So we go over uh, two and then down to the brick programs again. And then uh, we go up to our motors. We select our motors and then we go over one and then up five and over one to the timer and then we select it and move it down to one second we go over and up to the motor and then we select it we want yep we want this one right here and then we go over and then we go up to our gyroscope that's four and over one to our gyroscope sensor and that's at 45 degrees already so we go over one and then up to our motors uh, that's good so we go over one up five to the clock we select it change it to one second and then we can go back and see all our programming to make sure everything's done correctly and then we push play. Okay, so now we, we put the gyroscope on and we're on page 53 
and it gives us the instructions on how to uh, program the gyroscope. So we put it in. Uh, Emmett, why don't you why don't you just show us? Come over here and push the run button and see what it does. So we programmed it to go straight for one second and then supposedly turn 45 degrees to the right and then go one more second in that direction and then stop. So we're going to change it and I'm going to change it to go to the, to the left and I'm going to change it that it only goes uh, 15 degrees. Let's see. All right, so it's going to go to the left instead of the right. And in the next setting is, is 10 degrees to the left. So, Wyatt, now you can, you can run this one. What? Hello. Whoa. Wait, when, when did they stop? I don't know. It did something wrong there. Can't look away. Boop. So we'll stop it. All right. So let's see. It goes straight for one second, and then it turns to the left. Oh, okay. Let's see there. there we go. We wanted to change ten degrees. I had to change. It was turning left, but I had to go in ten degrees to the right. So that was. So let's try this. Go ahead and push it now. Oh, I'm sorry. There. So it turned just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. So it went to the left instead of to the right. So, so when you program this, there's a, a degrees to the right and there's a degrees to the left. And then you tell it to turn right and you can tell it to turn left. But you want the turns and the degrees to go in the same direction. Okay? So next we have to do, uh, we're going to build, we're going to build, uh, Emmett, go pick that up on top of the box, the, the big thing on top of the box. All right. Yeah, bring it over. Bring it over here this way. Bring it over. Come on. Okay. Bring it over. So now the next thing it wants us to do is to is the is to put this uh, this gear lift onto the front of it. Yeah. And we're gonna come over and we're gonna try and catch the box with it. Okay? So we'll go do that. Put this together and put it on and then we'll program it so it does that. Alright, on page 68, this is our uh, this is for our server, server motor. We're going to catch the box. Uh, we go over the three, down to brick program, hit select. Uh, then we're going to go up and then over to the server motor. We select that. Uh, we select it. We need to move it down so you can see that it, the little bar moves down. We want it right around there. Uh, then we go up uh, five and over one to the timer. And then we select it and we move it down to one second and then we go over and then we go up and then we go over to the motors we select it we select it we move it down but we go to we want it to go down straight so that's down straight we go over one we go up five over one select it, we select it, we change it to one second and then we can go back check our program and push play. Okay so on page 68 uh, we put on uh, this this lever arm and go ahead and push, we put the program in, go ahead and push the run program. Oh, didn't touch it. Damn. Poor put man. Uh, let's put it up again. Try to. Put it right there. Go ahead, push it. There. Catches it and pulls it. And then we can turn it around. So, yes. put the, the right up on the eyes. Go ahead, push the square. Take it. There you go. Take okay. It so that was page 68 of an instruction manual. That was, uh, it drops down on the box and then pulls it backwards. And then next, uh, we're going to do the... Um, the light sensor uh, to detect light and dark lines uh, like we have on our, our board right there. Okay, I'll go there. Is this it?
Okay, so this is for our uh, light sensor for the black line. Uh, we go over two, and then we go down to the brick program, and then we go up, and we look for our um, two two light sensors. The first one over here is color, and that one's the contrast or black and white. Uh, we move over one because that's the one we'll want. But what we want to do first is go to our uh, motors. Um, that's the right direction so we go over one and then up and then we go to the light sensors so it'll start moving uh, we have it at 50 uh, we go over and then when it gets there we want to make the motors stop so we select it go all the way down to the bottom hit stop and then we can go back and check our program to make sure it matches the book and then we can hit run so on page 72, we put on the light sensor and we set it up, we set the programming so that it would, it would uh, detect dark colors versus light colors. So um, we have a gradient between darkness and light. In less than 50, it's going to stop. So when it sees a black line or a dark colored line, it'll stop. But if it doesn't see, it'll continue to go. So Emmett, go ahead and run the program. Just to point out, this is the light sensor. Yeah, that's the light sensor right there. And so it saw the it saw this black line and it stopped. All right? We could do the same thing uh, like this, or you could have it run towards white. Well, oh, it didn't see any light. Yeah, because it was on. Yep, it didn't see any dark colors. So. Something I was asking you guys, we can determine what a light and a dark color is and in this gradient by seeing if it stops running or not. So why don't you go ahead, we can, we can push it this way and see, go ahead and push the button. So red is a dark color also. You want to um, you wanna go ahead and push it for, for here? For you stand green? Up. For green. That's black. So it stops on black, let's do yellow. Whoa, it went right over yellow, right? Yeah. So yellow would be a light color. How about blue? Yeah, let's try blue. Oh, it stopped on blue. Green, do you think it'll, do you think it'll stop on green or go? Probably. Uh, no, it will stop. It'll stop? Yeah. Why, because it's dark? Yeah. Okay, let's stop. find out. Oh, it Knew did. it. What about brown? Is that a dark color? Yes, yes, definitely. All right, let's try it. I don't, I don't yeah, think you yeah. even need to test it. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh it hit green. Oh, you didn't have a color. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead and again. Okay. Yeah. And then what do you think about white? Oh, well, well, definitely white. It, it's going to be, a, it, it was running on white for most of the time, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, yep. Not for red. For red. Let's oh, try it's that again. It's going to stop. Is it going to go? It's going to stop. Whoa. Oh, well, it went over it that way. Now let's go up. There. How wait, what? Stop? I think it didn't see it. It was running too fast, so it couldn't see the red light. Plus, it just went over this way. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that was on 72. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to do a, we're going to test test the colors and see if it knows which colors are which on this cube right here with the color sensor. Okay. All right. So this is for our color sensor. All right. We're going to do the same thing as we did for our contrast sensor. Um, the brick program and we're going to go up and we want to do it we want to do something a little bit different we're going to do the two together so uh, we hit our motors and our motors going to go straight we go over one and we go up and then we go over to the color sensor here we hit OK and then we're going to find select it we want it to uh, stop on uh, red so we're going through all the colors number five is red so then we go over one and then we go up to our motors and then we select it and we go down to stop and then we go back to make sure we have uh, this done correctly and then we run the program to see if it stops on a red line so now what we did was uh, we turned on the color sensors using the program uh, on page 76 
But we modified this program so it's a little better because in that program, if it sees a specific color, you use the rock, uh, you use this block, and you put in blue, and when you show it blue, the robot goes. It just sits there and it goes. But we thought maybe we could take the old program that we had on page 72 and use the color sensor instead of just the, uh, the contrast sensor, the brightness sensor, and determine that it's going to go, and when it sees a red line, it's going to stop. And we're going to test it over here on these lines that are black and white and red. And we're going to test it on these color, on the color palette over here. We're going to run it and see if it, if it only determines red out of all the colors that are over here. Um, what's cool about this is, is uh, I used to work at a place called Oak Ridge National Lab. And they had robots that went around the buildings and they put um, tape on the floor. They had three colors of tape. And the robots knew where they were supposed to go in the building during the day because they followed specific colors on the line. And then if they switched from a morning shift to a night shift doing different routes, they could just put the time on there that it would change color lines and then it would follow the other lines. So robots knew where to go through the building because there were colored lines on the floor um, and the robots would just follow those. So we wanted to stop on a red line. So Emmett, go ahead and run it and see if it stops when it gets to the red line. But first, I have an idea. If, you, if, if it's about to go off over here, it will stop so, and it won't go off. Because there's a red line? Okay, yeah. well, let's see what happens. All right, so it stopped on it, skipped the black line and the white line, and it stopped on the red. Turn it around this way and have it go back that way. Yep, yeah, you can set that up just like that, and then push the run. So it stops on the red line. Okay. So now, you could also see before, uh, Emmett, you pointed this out, and Wyatt pointed this out, right? Uh, you could see that this has, to detect color, it has the three primary colors uh, of light that it's using the reflection. It has blue, red, and green. Uh, and you could see that, as I pull it away, it makes all the colors of the rainbow. You have magenta, you have yellow, you have orange, um, but it sees the reflection. And the light that it sees is the reflection off the table. So the red square only reflects red light. Uh, the green square reflects green light. And the blue square reflects blue, blue light. light. Yeah. And the yellow reflects a blend of colors, um, the green and the red. And if you had orange or if you had magenta on here, those are, those are other uh, colors that are two or more primary colors added together. So let's put this like this, and then why? So what we're going to do is we want to see it's going to go from white to black to yellow to blue to green to brown to white to red. What should happen when it gets to red? Stop. It stops. Is it going to stop on any of these other colors? Nope, no. Nope. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Okay, let's find out if that works. Oh, so it did work, right? All right, so we saw the light sensor two ways. It was, we saw where it was a contrast, where it was either, a, it would stop if a color was dark or if a color was light uh, from its reflection. And then we saw the color sensor, how it can choose a specific color and then run a program off of whatever color happens to trigger the sensor. And over. This is our last program on page 80 with the touch sensor. So we're gonna go over Two, we're going to go down to our brick program like we did before. We're going to go up. We're going to look for our touch, uh, which is over here. There's our touch sensor. We hit OK. Um, we're going to leave it just where it is. So we go over one, and then we go up to a sound. So the sound sensor, we have different numbers. <laughs> Select it. Number one is, is the... Uh, Hello, you can, you can check out the other sounds by changing the numbers. We're going to stay with number one, which is hello. You're going to go up and over. And then we're going to make this go backwards. So we select it. And we go, whoop, we go to the backwards right there. And we go over. And then we go up uh, five and over one to the stopwatch. To the timer, we select it, we move it to one second, and then we go back and we check our program to make sure it's the same that's in the book, and then we hit play. Now for the last program in the instruction manual, 
uh, we're going to use the touch sensor. So we, uh, we're on page 80 and we placed the program for the touch sensor. So it, uh, the program tells us after the touch sensor, it's going to make a sound. And sound number one is it saying hello. And then, um, and then we're going to go backwards and we change it to two seconds so it goes across the table. So go ahead, hit the run first. No, first you hit the square. And then hit the button. Thank you, go Now you turn it around and do the same thing. So when you hit the touch sensor, the first thing it says is hello. And then it, and then it rolls backwards. Do you hear it say hello? <laughs> All right, you guys can play with that. That is so cute. And that's on page 80, and that's the last, that's the last instructions. For Cindy and